हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी सुपर एलिवेशन सुपर एलिवेशन इज डिफाइंड एज द रेजिंग इन आउटर एज विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू इनर एज टू काउंटर बैलेंस द सेंट्रिफिकल फोर्स एंड टू रिड्यूस द टेंडेंसी ऑफ व्हीकल टू ओवरटर्न इज कॉल्ड सुपर एलिवेशन इट मीन्स दैट वी कैन जस्ट सिंपली डिफाइन द सुपर एलिवेशन एज raising of the outer edge of pavement which is shown here with respect to the inner edge of the pavement is known as super elevation why it is raised to counter balance the centrifugal force and to reduce the tendency of vehicle to overturn now it is the slope provided to pavement in the lateral direction we can also define the super elevation as the slope provided in the lateral direction now suppose that there will be a particular road whose cross section is shown here that will be the outer side or the outer edge of the pavement and that will be the inner edge of the pavement now we had raised the outer edge of the pavement with respect to the inner edge by an angle theta and vehicle is moving like this so the centrifugal force will be acting like this that is denoted by capital p and the weight of the vehicle will be w which is acting in the vertically downward direction due to this centrifugal force there will be a frictional force acting along the surface between the tire and the pavement and on resolving the components of w that is this angle is theta so this component will be equals to w cos theta and this component will be equals to w sin theta similarly on resolving the component of centrifugal force p this component will be equals to p cos theta and this component will be equals to p sin theta now normal reaction will be acting in the upward direction like this so it will be equals to w cos theta plus p sin theta which is shown here and frictional force will be equals to small f into n that is coefficient of friction into normal reaction now the value of capital n is w cos theta plus p sin theta which is shown here after putting the value of n we will get the value of capital f as small f into W cos theta plus P sin theta. So a total resistive force will be equals to W sin theta plus F. So we had written here W sin theta plus F. On putting the value of F, we will get W sin theta plus F into W cos theta plus P sin theta. Now balancing the force along the slope, then it will be equals to the total resistive force is equals to P cos theta. So we had written. p cos theta is equals to total resistive force that is w sin theta plus f into w cos theta plus p sin theta now after solving this we will get p equals to w tan theta plus f w plus f p tan theta now we know that tan theta will be equals to super elevation that is small e so we will replace tan theta by small e and we will get p equals to w into e plus fw plus fpe on solving this we will get p into 1 minus ef is equals to w into e plus f now we will get the ratio of p by w which will be equals to e plus f upon 1 minus ef on putting the value of p that is mv square by r that is the centrifugal force and the value of w which will be equals to mg on solving this we will get v square upon rg is equals to e plus f upon 1 minus ef now the value of e is very less as well as the value of small f is also very less so on multiplying e and f we will get the value less than 1 we will write 1 minus ef which will be nearly equals to 1 on replacing this we will get v square upon rg is equals to e plus f from this here the value of v is in kilometer per hour and the radius will be in meter now we need to convert the speed of vehicle in terms of meter per second for which we need to multiply in the numerator by 0.278 so we will write 0.278 v whole square upon r into the value of small g is 9.81 on solving this we will get e plus f is equals to v square upon 127 r here e is the super elevation now that is the most important formula as per the gate examination point of view because 
सो मेनी क्वेश्चन हैड बिन आस्क फ्रॉम द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ सुपर एलिवेशन ओनली नाउ वन स्पेशल केस इज देयर दैट इफ द सेंट्रिफ्यूगल फोर्स इज फुल्ली बैलेंस्ड बाय सुपर एलिवेशन ओनली इट मींस दैट द कोफिशिएंट ऑफ लेटरल फ्रिक्शन इज अज्यूम्ड टू बी जीरो इन दैट केस प्रेशर एट इनर एंड आउटर टायर आर सेम इट मींस दैट when the centrifugal force is fully balanced by the super elevation only then the pressure at inner and outer tire are same so we will put the value of small f0 then the final equation will becomes small e that is super elevation is equals to v square upon 127 r and this super elevation is known as equilibrium super elevation so if in the question they will ask to find the equilibrium super elevation then you have to put the value of coefficient of lateral friction as zero now one note is there that is the minimum super elevation will be equals to the camber of road now if you have to provide the minimum super elevation then it will be equals to the camber of the road and the maximum super elevation for different types of terrain is given in this table for urban area the maximum super elevation will be equals to 4% for plain and rolling terrain the super elevation is 7% and for mountainous and steep terrain the maximum super elevation is 10% so the calculated super elevation will be greater than e minimum or equals to e minimum but always be less than or equals to e maximum now we have to design the super elevation so for design of super elevation for mixed traffic condition is a complex problem as the vehicle are moving with different speed now we know that e plus f is equals to v square upon 127 r it means that the super elevation is directly proportional to speed of the vehicle whole square so for mixed traffic condition there will be variety of speeds of vehicle so it will be very difficult to design a particular super elevation along a particular section of the road so for fast moving vehicle providing higher super elevation without considering the coefficient of friction is safe why we are ignoring the coefficient of friction because at a very high speed the contact surface between tire and the pavement is very less due to which very less frictional force will be developed so to balance the centrifugal force we need to balance it by only providing the higher super elevation so we had written here for fast moving vehicle providing higher super elevation and ignoring the coefficient of friction is safe condition now for slow moving vehicle providing lower super elevation considering the coefficient of friction is safe now we know that when the vehicle is moving with a slower speed then the coefficient of friction value is very high because the contact surface between the tire and the pavement is very high that's why to balance this centrifugal force we need to consider the coefficient of friction that's why we need to provide the lower super elevation value for the safe condition hence irc suggest to design the super elevation for 75% of design speed that's why indian road congress suggested to design the super elevation for 75% of the design speed now design steps of super elevation as per indian road congress now the first step is calculate super elevation for 75% of design speed considering coefficient of friction is equals to 0 so we will put the coefficient of friction equals to 0 and the value of speed will be 75% of design speed so we had written 0.75 v whole square upon 127 r on solving this we will get e is equals to v square upon 225 r now if this super elevation will be less than or equals to e max then it will be okay and if this super elevation will be greater than maximum super elevation then we have to go to the step 2 now the step 2 is if super elevation calculated is greater than the maximum super elevation then we have to provide e is equals to e max and check small f for 100% design speed it means that we have to check the value of small f at 100% design speed keeping 
E equals to E max. Now the formula will becomes small f is equals to V square upon 127R minus E max and if this value will be less than equals to 0 0.15 then it will be a okay condition otherwise if small f will be greater than 0 0.15 then we have to move to the step 3. Now step 3 is the restricting speed. Now maximum speed limit will be equals to V max which will be equals to under root of 127R E max plus 0 0.15. Now from where this formula comes it will be equals to E max plus the value of F which will be equals to the maximum value of F will be equals to 0 0.15 and it will be equals to V max square upon 127 R. On rearranging this equation we will get V max equals to under root of 127 R in bracket E max plus 0 0.15. If we don't want to restrict the speed then we have to find the ruling radius which will be equals to V square upon 127 E max plus 0 0.15. Now that will be the value of ruling radius and it is also very important as per the gate examination point of view. That is all about the super elevation. Thank you very much students.